Hello and welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. Today's going to be a little different. I'm going to do a video showing a haul that I had from going to this show. It's called the Creative Keepsake Scrapbook Convention. Last year I went to Chicago to the Scrapbook and Stamp Expo. And this was very similar to it. And this one's actually called the Creating Keepsake Scrapbook Convention in St. Louis. And, but it's really in Collinsville, Illinois. And so this is near my home because I live in St. Louis. And so it was March 13th and 14th this year. And this one still went on instead of the COVID-19 thing going on because we really didn't have any confirmed cases in St. Louis at that time. I think there was only one at that time that was from somebody who had came back from Italy. So that wasn't canceled. I just think it was about a week and a half later that we had a stay-at-home order. Any case, my sister and I decided to go. I hadn't asked off, so it did offer classes just like the Scrapbook Expo does. But I didn't sign up for any of those because I don't work too much in the winter since I work in guest services at a zoo. And so I never know how much money I'm going to have. And I don't want to ask off on Saturdays because that's a day I might get scheduled. Well, I happened to be off that Saturday and... My family is going through a really hard time besides the COVID-19 starting to become a thing at the time. Um, but my dad had had a stroke 15 years ago and we had had to put him in the hospital not long before this. So I didn't know if I was going to be off or what was going on, but it turned out that he was stable at the time, but we knew it wouldn't be much longer before, he, you know, he was going to pass on. So. My sister and I decided, because it was our birthday weekend on March 13th, is actually my, was my dad's 80th birthday, that on the 14th, since I happened to be off work, that we went to the convention. And I particularly wanted to go because when I went to the one in Chicago, I didn't go to the Echo Park booth until the second day. And when I, by the time I got over there after my class, they were sold out of most of their papers. So I saw they were going to be at this one. So that was the main reason I went. Also, we had an idea that there may be a stay-at-home order coming eventually. So we thought we should go ahead and um, have a good time while we could. And we were very careful about social distancing and keeping away from people as much as possible. But like I say, there really weren't any confirmed cases in our area at that time. Also, I wanted to support the people that did come to the show, the companies, because I knew that eventually they wouldn't be able to have these shows the rest of the year. So I wanted to support them while they were there, while it was still somewhat safe at the time. So we went, and of course we still kind of watched and made sure people were keeping distance and that it wasn't too crowded, which it wasn't. And I suppose this show was a little different than usual because of that, because it was probably mostly local people that were there. And I'm, people did tell me they'd been there before that said it was much more crowded. Now this one had a few different vendors than what the other show had, but that's why I'm doing this video because when I first went to the show I watched a lot of these haul videos just so I knew kind of what specials to look for and what vendors I might want to go to. And they did have a program and have different coupons. And I didn't do too much shopping because I was just coming off the winter and didn't have too many big paychecks at the time. But we went to the Art Impressions booth and I bought this um, circlet mini trifold. They make really cute cards and since we didn't take any classes we did their little make and take and my sister and I each did one. These are already pre-printed but it gave you an idea of how to put these together. So you can see it's three different layers and if you want to know how to put these together I have two videos on their Easter trifold card so you can check that out. I bought this one my mom likes, well my whole family likes tea so I bought this for my mom because she likes to make cards for her different friends and this is a tea party so she loves that and a lot of her friends do too so I got that for Mother's Day. And then there were a few things I wanted so my, since my birthday was going to be on Monday I kind of just told my sister what I wanted. So I wanted um, the stamp positioner because I had taken the Art Impressions class at the previous convention I went to, but I hadn't got the stamp positioner and I found that that would be very helpful. And also because of the 
card I just showed you, I didn't have very many circle dies. The ones I had just had a few circles and it weren't really the sizes for the um, Art Impressions mini trifle. So that was another set that I wanted. So my sister bought this for my birthday. And the special they had, I think they do the same thing pretty much everywhere, but Art Impressions gave 20% off. Now if you take their class at the convention, then you get extra savings. And then these are some things my sister bought. And this was from um, the Islet Outlet. Now I didn't buy anything there because I had already done that at the previous one, I have lots of these supplies. So, but if you want washi tape or eyelets, this is a really good place to go to. And they had a special on everything. So these are just different washi tapes my sister got. And she got ones just to go with the cards that she likes to make. She sends cards like I do to some girls in Mexico. We sponsor them in a children's home. And so she just got ones that they would probably like, like the colors, and one of them likes music, so those are what she got there. And then, of course, our first stop was Echo Park, since I hadn't got there before. So I'll show you a few things, and I don't have the prices on these, but I found this when everything was on sale at the booth. So I found this stamp of leopards and you know I look at the zoo so of course I have to have animal things and I had gotten a lot of dies from the Elizabeth craft booth at the previous year and of course I got the lion and the tiger so I thought I could print my own leopard print and use the lion and tiger dies to make leopards so that's why I got that and then I eventually want to make some recipe memorabilia for my cousin's kids as they um, get married. So that's one of the plans. So I saw these at the Echo Park booth, so I thought that would be great. And then it has um, different pictures. So I know I'm going to do, I think I actually have the paper set that this goes to, which I bought at the previous show with the intention of making a memorabilia um, recipe book for them. And then I worked at Disney World for seven years, so of course I love Disney stuff. I think I have most of my pictures done from those years, but I still have more. And then one of the girls I send cards to, really, her favorite color combination is red and black, so I thought this would be good. And then also this year, my um, we had to have my little black snowshirt put down because she had cancer. She was 15 years, almost 15, so she had lived a long time. So I'm going to make her a photo album, and since she was a black dog, I thought doing red and black colors for her would be really good, so I thought this was great for that. Then they had a special, you buy so many packs of paper, you get for so much, I forget what it was, something like, so I think it turned out how many you buy that it would get down to 4 or $5 a pack, which usually if you go to specialty paper stores, Something this size cost five or six dollars, so that's a good price. And it comes with um, stickers that you can use. And most of the ones I picked out has small print, even though they're big paper, so you could use it in a photo album or cards, whichever you prefer. And I do both, so I had actually got this paper set for my mom previously, and I decided I want to do it. I do hope to get to England sometime, so if I do. I thought this would be great to do a scrapbook with that. And my sister's not really into card making. She makes some, and she definitely does not do scrapbooking, but she loved the paper. And there's only a couple stores around our area that's not even that close to us where we can get really good specialty paper. So we've seen this, and this is a color that I really like. I love turquoise. So I had to get this, and I thought even though it's winter, it's not really Christmassy, so you can use it all winter. And then, of course, the stripes and the teacups. Of course, I already told you I like tea, so. Or it could be cocoa, which I like. And then I found this one. And like I said, we make cards for our little ones um, that we send cards to. And one of the girls I support is four years old. And then we have two other girls we support. I think they're eight or nine. So I thought the little princess paper would be great for them. And then... 
my little girl loves princesses and she likes unicorns. So I saw this and I thought of her. And I want to, I've been saving pictures that I get from the mission of her. And I want to make a photo album for when she graduates. So over time. So I thought this would be great for her younger pictures. And then some of this paper, we got it all at the same deal and put it together. So I don't know which ones I picked out, which ones my sister picked out. I'm guessing I probably picked this out because it has some neutral stuff in here. But also, we love going out west to different things. And I know I have my Yosemite pictures and my Glacier pictures to do. So I think that's why I got this one. I'm positive my sister picked this one out. She does like doing Christmas cards. That's one thing she will make. So this one's Wise Men Still Seek Him. Now this has paper that would also be good for non-Christmas cards and actually looks very masculine. I think so. You don't always see masculine paper, so. And here's another one we thought is great for winter. And I like to do a lot of lawn fawn cards, so I do a lot of like little woodland things as well as doing photo albums from hiking in the woods. So that's why I got this one. Of course, it's got turquoise also. And then this is Magic and Wonder. And this is the big reason I want to go to Echo Park because they had a lot of Disney-inspired type things. So, and I wasn't able to get that before. They didn't have the set I really wanted, but um, they're all cute. So, and this has some things that don't necessarily have to be Disney. And I could see like teenagers. This would be great for my teenage girls. And I got this one. We do have a trip that we have to scrap from South Carolina. So nautical would be really good for that. And we do would like to go up to like New England again sometimes, so this would be great for that. Plus, we have a lot of stamps for making cards that are nautical. So this is very small print, so you could use this for scrapbooking or for cards. I think this would be great for either one. And I love marine mammals. I used to work in an aquarium when is well at the Living Seas at Epcot. So love animals, uh, and also I do. At the zoo, we have a sea lion show. I do not work with the animals there, but I do monitor them in the winter time and the, making sure people aren't scratching our glass or harassing the animals. So I do spend a lot of time with our sea lions. So I love marine mammals. And that's that one. And then this one is called a dog's tail. So I have a lot of stamps with dogs. I like to make dog cards. And I think it's also fun like we have people watch our dog while we're on vacation and things to make them a little thank you card from the dog. Or my sister, my sister and I we share a dog so we always make Mother's Day cards for each other or birthday cards or whatever. This and say it's from the dog. So that'd be great for that. And then some of these are generic. I don't really want the cartoony type ones. For my photo album for my dog that passed away but it could be for the current dog and then some of these will go with the red and black theme also and i got this one lost in neverland i think i've already i have not done my disneyland picture so i could use this for that but my very favorite ride at disney world or disneyland either one is the um, Peter Pan's Flight. So, I love, this is my favorite movie. Well, one of my favorites. I love that one and The Little Mermaid are probably my two favorite Disney movies. So, I had to get this paper. Well, I know what I'm doing with it or not. And then they also had this individual paper to get. So, I just kind of went through there and just got paper that I thought I can use for the girls photo albums or for our dog. So, and a lot of these are double sided and see they'll match good so you, it doesn't matter which side you use. And there's also small prints so you could use them for cards too. And this you could cut into strips for your photo album or you can use the whole page. Or you could use it in borders on a card. 
but if you didn't want to use the stripes, that side's good and very generic. Okay, so some of these I got the same. This one I don't think I got for this. Oh, here. I got it for this side for my dog for the photo album. because People always thought our dog was a Scotty. She had kind of long legs, so that was kind of funny because Scotties are short. But they did since she was a black schnauzer, a lot of people thought she was a Scotty, so I think this would really look really good for her. And, of course, that's for the dog album. I actually have some of this paper I got at a local store to make really good, nice pictures for a photo album or a card. And then, really like that, like I said, for the photo album. But this would make really good paper for a scrapbook also. And then more dog pictures. And I like blue. And whatever I don't use for my previous dog, we have a new puppy now, so we'll be making picture albums with her, I'm sure. And you can see her on our um, videos, our Vic Vicky videos is our new dog. Okay, and I think this is the last one I got, and it's very generic also. I didn't want to have just plaid in the book because I thought that'd be a little overwhelming. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope this inspires you to go to one of these conventions when it's safe to do so. And if not, hopefully you can support some local small companies in the scrapbook and paper industry. There's a lot of websites you can go to to buy these products individually. And I do have those listed in my videos also. Thank you for watching.